do. This is how we, this is how we roll. I've got two bottles of wine in my bag. <laughs> Steve's got one. Unlike Bofal, uh, there was a sign there on the gate. An unlike, actual sign. Unlike Bofal, we could see. Yeah, <laughs> no. we can see our destination. Steve's a bit warm. Oh, it is insanely warm, people. Very warm. Right, we're about a quarter of the way up. And we have got some epic scenery. That's Wasdale Tarn. Oh, yeah. It says to reach the Lord Drake from here, two choices of route are possible. In clear visibility, follow a scree path steeply to the right, and which leads to the foot of the cliffs and to the start of Lord Drake. Do not try this route unless you have at least two bottles of wine to keep you going. And the tent. Steve checking the GPS. That's the uh, that's the wuss path. That's the path that the uh, easy easy fell walkers go on because it zigzags and it's a little bit less of an incline. Whereas this is a man path, obviously. So, probably about another 300 foot up from where we were, 200, it's getting prettier, and the scenery, but we both realised, come to the decision that most of the men on this fell are here with their wives or girlfriends, yeah. just a point to make there, yeah. um, some of them were quite don't large, talk much, though. Don't no talk. they don't, they don't so talk. Look at this. Yeah, the men are smiling, the women are frowning. Apart from there was a couple just down there, you can see the tops of their heads. They were lovely. They were over. Um, Steve, yeah, they were hung over. Steve explained to them the inflatable bar idea that we've got for the top of Scarfell. They that's found it funny. That's happening. That's well, going on, that's going on YouTube, and I'm going for... The first, the highest bar what, what in they, England. What do they call those when it goes viral? Viral, that's yeah. It's going to be viral YouTube, yeah. Scarfell bar. Scarfell bar. Landlords. We're going to call it Barfell. <laughs> that, that, straight off there. Just, just there. That is just there. there. That's just there. there. <laughs> <laughs>
Lancashire hot pot. Lancashire hot pot. We've got wine. We've got food. We've got an epic view. Just you don't get better than this, Steve. Unless the only way it would be better is if it were warmer. But I'm just not bothered that it's cold. Just, it's just brilliant. This. I think the difference is the beard. I mean, you're talking 20 You've degrees. gone full Bear Grylls right with there. a beard, haven't you? Right yeah, there. yeah, yeah. And the tent's going to turn to ice. Yeah. Very, very soon. In the middle of the night, basically, with our breathing, which we've already had a laugh about the fact that basically <laughs> it's like making clout inside the tent. <laughs> it's just going to be ice. Uh, well, Colin's in the tent. I'm in the tent. Man Steve's is manned up. He's, uh, he's gone full. You're not covering my face. I've gone black. <laughs> Steve's Sorry, I'll call. Oh, it's, it's taking me limelight. No, I look, I've, I've even gone back. Look to give you a wide, wide, give wide beam. Wide beam. Wide beam. Steve. Steve's gone. Um, a, a la outdoor. Uh, he's gone um, in full waterproofs, laying on the grass, which is fine for me because I've got my legs in a sleeping bag. My hands are freezing. I can't feel my fingertips, but that's fine because I'll just put them under my armpit. I don't even know if this is recording, but I just thought I'd make a quick comment on how much I hate flies. Flies, literally, they're in my tent all the time, all the time. I, I open my door for 30 seconds to put the gas heater out there and bring my trainers in. Three billion flies. There's more flies in in my pot now that I've killed, and I don't like killing shit, in there. Just, honestly, they, right, they can fly anywhere in my tent. I said to Steve earlier, fly anywhere in my tent. Why, out of all the exposed skin that I have, they decide they want to be on my face, crawling around. Morning. There were no cloud inversion. No, no northern lights. And the uh, the mist is coming in. But a nice sunrise over there, and being here is brilliant. Important lesson, YouTubers. Yeah, important lesson. Bring it. Take it home. Found it. No mess, no rubbish, no damage. Nada, zilch, nothing. Even our kitchen is tidy. Oh yeah, it's about a foot deep that. Mandy said, and uh, Sean the sheep there. You missed out on the party last night. Hurting the knees, I've got wobbly leg. So we found quite a nice place to have dinner. Rather nice. Steve's currently eating dinner. Sausage and beans. Sausage and beans. Got meatballs in pasta on. Sausage and beans. Just down here. Stream water. Yep, and that water is from the stream. Yes. I'm going full man and having a cup of coffee with it. Yeah, Steve's going to have a cup of coffee with it. Oh, not. I'm not. I don't get sick pay. A lot of people on this trip, though. Yeah. It's not been the uh, barren yeah. wilderness we've been expecting. You don't come here for solitude. No, don't come here for solitude. Yeah. We may have uh, reached our limit when it comes to altitude and wine. Do you know what that magic number is now? Magic number? No. Bottle and a half. No in, in, may I add, a hot water bottle, oh, yeah, so you don't have to carry the, um, the the bottles back down with you. So you put the wine in the water bottle, you drink the wine, then at the end of the night you boil up some water, put it in that water bottle, use that to keep you warm, put the water back into the pan in the morning, boil it back up, cup of coffee. No wastage whatsoever. Everybody's a winner.